Journal Art Company here. Uh, welcome to the channel. <coughs> um, excuse me. <laughs> um, I've just been really happy lately with um, with the response to um, my very very late uh, version of Defember Ember. Defember Ember. <laughs> that was uh, uh, during the month of December. Um, that was presented by uh, Forty Nine Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel, and. Um, so yeah, so this actually is my rendition of, oh, now I can't remember. I've got one, two, three, four, is this five? One, two, three, four, five, this is six. Uh, and it's napkin image and, uh, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm such a dork. Napkin, napkin image and tag. I think that's what it is. It's tag and napkin in it napkin image <laughs> let me get that out um yeah so i again um trying to de-stash i'm only using things that i have already i've already purchased i don't use uh napkins i used to have a big collection of them and then i realized that i wasn't really using them uh i i use tissue paper a lot i, I really like going to especially dollar tree and sometimes i've got um, kind of a cool, cool new, uh, little tissue paper collection and their tissue paper is really thin. Um, I find it's really hard to use it for actual like wrapping of, uh, uh gifts and gift bag and stuff because it is really delicate, but it is great for collaging, um, because a lot of them have kind of cool prints and so those prints sort of stay, um, but it's, it's sheer so the, so the under the substrate comes through. Um, I'm telling you all this. I didn't use. Uh, <laughs> I didn't use Dollar Tree. Um, oh, I just found my defember my defember member list. Yes, napkin image and tag. Um, sorry about blah blah blah. blah. Um, but what I did have that I recalled um, that I bought a long time ago, and then. Uh, never used like so many other things um, was I have uh, some of this Tim Holtz collage I think it's called, called collage tissue um, it's it's quite thin um, this one is actually like a sort of a travel themed you got maps and and ticket things and anyway um, so I had a roll of this, and I have never used it. So I thought, well, instead of the napkin image, I will use some of this uh, Tim Holtz sort of travel, travel sort of paper. Um, so what I did was, uh, once again, got out uh, one of my uh, Francis Bacon biography book pages, and I collaged um, some of that paper on it. I crumpled it all up. It's actually about the same width as the page, almost exactly. Um, I crumpled it up. I first tried to put it down with some watered down gesso and that did not work. And uh, ultimately got out my, my matte Mod Podge and um, finally got that, finally got it to stick. I do have to say it was a little disconcerting how hard it was to get the, that Tim Holtz, uh, tissue paper to stick. So there, there is kind of a, a sheen to it. One side is definitely rougher and maybe I was doing something weird and I put it down, you know, maybe I put like the shinier side down first. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Um, but ultimately the Mod Podge did do it. I put down the, the bottom layer, stuck the, stuck the tissue paper to it. And then I, I went over it again, uh, another top layer. And that seemed to come out pretty well. Um, what did happen was, I don't know if it was me or, uh, I'm not sure, but I didn't quite get the glue 
uh, to the edges of the page, uh, which was kind of fun. I actually, the, anything that wasn't really securely glued down, I sort of pulled away and I kind of liked this effect of pulling away that, that tissue paper um, from where the glue didn't quite, didn't quite tape. So, um, so yeah, so this is what those ended up being on the, um, the book pages here. And I did chop that into four. I took off the, I took off a lot of the edges. Um, I did tear the edges with my, oh, let me see if I can get it out. You guys, I'm never ready. <laughs> um, with my tear guide, my We Are Memory Makers tear guide, I love this deckle edge. And so I tore the edges off of the paper. I knew I was going to get four tags out of, out of that one sheet. So sorry, I didn't show you that. I guess I'm not, uh, I shouldn't say I'm not interested. I guess I'm not really interested in making and making more, uh, to do the tutorial because, um, for me, this, this really is, I, I want to share this process with you and some of the things that I'm making. Um, but it's not really about the tutorial. It's really more about, um, me kind of getting my feet wet again and getting back into uh, making ephemera for junk journals. And I'm really, really, really grateful to Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and uh, Louisa from uh, junk, the Louisa Junk Journal Art for, uh, for putting that series out there. It really has helped a lot. So, so here's what I did. I also got out um, a bunch of my Tim Holtz die cuts that I've I've bought and have hoarded for a while. Um, and I couldn't decide if I was going to do butterflies, but then I decided to do flowers. So I picked out some, uh, some, some flower die cuts, as you can see here. And then a, a lot of these, he's got like the specimen tags. And uh, so, yeah. So I will show you how I made, how I made these. Um, yeah, as you'll see, there's some more Tim Holtz. This is a very Tim Holtzy project. I guess I didn't think about it that way, but it is. It's very Tim Holtzy. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, I'll put this guy away, and we're going to start from the point at which I have my my tag shape cut out. Okay. Um, so, of course, you know this is coming. My mussy fern green distress ink. We're going to distress the edges of that layer there. And uh, I have some of this old blue. I mean, it started out as a really bright blue, and then I... I tea stained it so we're gonna use this oh actually I'm kind of going out of order um, I forget which order I wanted to do this in so um, for the substrate on these tags I chose um, some more Tim Holtz paper and this is from let me grab it let me grab it it is from ugh, this one paper stash the Paper Stash collect, Tim Holtz collection. Um, so I grabbed one that actually had uh, some lines on the back because these are going to be journal cards, journal tags. Um, so yeah, as you can see the, the first two, <laughs> you guys are so unorganized, what's going on? Where am I? What's happening? <laughs> what did I do with the first two? They must be sitting right here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, there they are. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I made sure that the paper that I used had some lines on the back, which and just simply invites you to journal on the back of those. Let me keep those close. Um, this piece, although beautiful, does not. It, it's, it, it does over here, but I think I'm going to actually try to use uh, this area of the paper now to adhere this to so so I like leaving oh I don't know an eighth to a quarter of an inch 
Um, so yeah, so I will glue this on there using my um, art glitter glue again. I'm finding I'm really enjoying adhering paper to paper with this. It works really well. And wet products do just seem to work better than dry products. So like, um, I love my permanent glue sticks. But you know, they, uh, they're good for some things and not for others. And if you want stuff to stick and stay stuck, wet adhesives work the best. So I'm going to stick that down get my little bone folder out here make sure to get all those edges stuck down nice and tight okay and that glue dries pretty quickly now I did decide to just sort of oop, oop, oop sort of freehand cut this. So we're just gonna eyeball this, freehand cut it, cause hey, you know what? I, you know I like it when stuff looks like it's handmade. So just gonna freehand it there. We're gonna take the corners off to maintain that tag shape. I'm gonna put those scraps in my little scrap bin over here. They'll be perfect for a little collage clusters at some point in time and we'll save that so here is there there is some journaling area on the back um i do kind of like that that's that's sort of that's sort of neat um let's distress the edges of this and we'll do front and back I'm not wiggling the table too much. Here we go. All right. So we are to this point. At this point, I have to decide. I've, I've picked out um, a couple of these. I did clip a leaf off of this one because it was a little too wide. Um, we've just got to decide which, uh, which thing we're doing where. Um, so this one, I think, probably could go like that this little wider sort of specimen tag down here. Let's do that one. We're going to do that one first. Um, and so what I have been doing on here is I cut some of this lace just slightly smaller than the width of the tag Oop, itself. And this is some light blue lace that I uh, tea stained and I loved how it came out this just sort of dusty dusty blue green um I really love this lace I'm gonna be sad <laughs> when it's gone because this this is all I've got left um but hey use it or lose it man that's that is my one of my mottos for 2022 use it or lose it so just um little little dots of glue here along the edges along some of those those solid uh, woven area, more solid woven areas. Um, just dots. Otherwise, it's a little bit too much. Um, there we go. My little sound effects. Um, <laughs> and then, ah, very carefully pick that up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's okay that's okay it's handmade um very lightly just tap that down I like it when I put lace on things um a lot of times I kind of like it to look like it just sort of fell there you know which is kind of why I don't mind if there's a, you know a little corner like this it's still kind of sticking up it's I just kind of like the the organic feel about it um, then we'll decide where to put this flower. I don't know if I want to put this flower up higher, but the other ones, the flowers uh, drag down over the lace. So even though this guy is a little bit shorter than some of the other things I've used, I'm going to have it uh, come down. This one might even not be, not, not, wouldn't be maybe a bad idea to just center it. 
Nah. I kind of like it a little with the weight a little bit off to the side. This will leave us a lot of room up here, which I think um, on these I did uh, I did also utilize just some so just some little scraps. This is actually uh, part of an envelope with a little bit of um, a postmark on it. This, of course, is a piece of a tea, tea stained um, dictionary page. So let me see. Let me see what other paper scraps I have that maybe we can use on the top of this one. Um, I do have this paper. This was a handle from from a paper like a gift bag from Christmas. And I was, once I um, unraveled it, I was kind of like, ooh, that's kind of neat. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can, if we can tear some kind of cool raw edges on that. Let's see what happens if we just tear kind of a, a piece. Um, don't want to straighten it out too much. Maybe... Maybe that would work. Is that too much? Is that just enough? What is that, you guys? Um, maybe it needs to just come down like like that. I sort of like that, where it just rests a little bit lower. Um, let's see what happens. My um, My little makeup puff is is kind of um starting to pill and disintegrate i do i love using these but they don't they really don't last as long as the the traditional um you know the pads that you buy uh for the the little wooden handle and i've got one of those um i do kind of like these these makeup puffs but eh, i don't know they start crumbling and then it's just a pain so what did we decide? We were going to have it a little lower so that it kind of, is that good? Like that maybe? Um, a little more sideways? Yeah, I think a little more sideways like that, you guys. Maybe like that. Okay. Let's glue that guy down. See what happens. Um, we will... The art glitter glue. And it's funny, you guys, sometimes, you know, I feel like I hoard uh, art supplies. Um, and then what happens is, you know, you come back to them. Like my Mod Podge the other day, oh my God, was a mess. Like it had an entire, uh, uh, like, uh, layer, like film that had dried. I couldn't hardly, I couldn't. <laughs> took me a long time to even get the, the jar open. And I was like, okay, this just shows I need to use my Mod Podge a little bit more often. Okay. All right. I think we'll do that. I guess we'll do that. It's down and staying there. And, um, oh, oh, wait, I noticed that there's a little, a little thing there. And cap that up. I did not fern green distress the edges. Um, so we'll get that done. Oop, get that little thing out of there. Okay. Yeah. I love distressing you guys. That, that really was just, I don't, I don't know if that was uh, something in sort of the collage, uh, world before, but, uh, really Tim Holtz has done, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, <laughs> has done amazing stuff. For, for all of us. I mean, the distress inks and the distress oxides and the... I don't even own any distress oxide. I almost bought some the other day at Hobby Lobby just because I'm like, I don't know. I mean, even though this is sort of the year of me trying to uh, use up my, uh, my craft supplies, like, you know, the use it or lose it, the year of use it or lose it. I guess I, that was the first time I sort of coined that, but maybe that's what I should start saying. 2022 use it or lose it man all right so there we go i've got that textured paper background i do like that and then i think i decided on this actually okay so some of you probably already noticed this this is 
one specimen tag. But I liked the thinner ones on these. So I just, I cut this one in half and just decided that that's what would be going on. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm gonna, let's distress this one. Um, and then we'll glue this guy down. And I do like things off center, but balanced. Sometimes I'm all about symmetry. My little Germanic uh, personality comes through and I'm like, oh, I want, I want everything to be symmetrical. But then uh, there's also a part of me that, that wants things to be off center, but balanced. So this seems off center, but balanced to me. And there's now uh, adding this extra piece gives it like three, three layers instead of just like two things. Um, if that makes any sense at all. I'm not, I'm, I am not the most eloquent uh, person out there, obviously. Um, sometimes I have a hard time finding, I, I have what I call menopausal moments and I I, just, I can't find the word I'm looking for. I used to really be eloquent, you guys. Come on. Um, so anyway, <laughs> enough about me. Some more about ephemera. Uh, so yeah, that's um, uh, the next step. Let me, uh, the next step uh, is I'm going to uh, put a little, uh, you know, place to, to put the tag hanger from and I'm going to use some more of my uh, this is a paper studio I believe from Hobby Lobby it's adhesive and I'm going to use some more of this paper what is it tattered and ta this is the tattered and worn um, adhesive pack and I think they've still got it there it's you know seven or eight dollars and a lot of times they have the paper studio stuff on sale so we will chop out a little flower I'm going to use uh, one of my metallic gel pens and try to figure out where the center is. And that dot shows up pretty well for when I punch it. Um, I'm still using this ancient uh, We Are Memory Makers uh, thing. I do have a newer one. I bought, like I said, I think, I think I told you I bought this one at like a garage sale for three bucks or something. I was like, oh, okay, that works. It works just fine. Um, yeah, so that was not quite center. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. We'll figure out how to how to make it look good here in just a sec. Um, we do distress the edges. Oh, get the backing off of there. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna center it kind of like this. And again, I just sort of. I sort of eyeball it maybe up a little bit higher and there it is we're committed okay then that light colored hole is easy for me to find when I punch it punch that out and then let's get let's get a cute little eyelet for that I'll be right back I did find this little set of eyelets. I don't know who makes them. This was actually at a resale store. And I was just like, whoo, I love those colors. That's all the colors I, I want to use on stuff. So we'll do this kind of, no, I'll get that one in the last one. I wonder if this, if there's enough contrast, if I do this sort of sagey green color. Yeah, that's okay. We'll do that. It's not quite as much contrast as I'd like, but it's fine. See if I can get this to work, get in there. I kept losing it the other night. There we go. It's in. Ugh. Punch that down. There we go. Yeah, sort of. Boy, that didn't do very well. <laughs> Let's try it again. Uh, da, 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 da. No, no, no. Actually, maybe I should. This, uh... This We Are Memory Makers one has just a little bit different um, surfaces on it than my new one. I haven't quite figured it out yet. And this one sort of uh, takes some of the paint away. Oh, well. That's all right. We'll get those chips off of there. There we go. 
So you got that on like that. The last thing that I do, and this is something that I saw, I believe that both Louisa and Barbara did this. Um, I got out my Tombow markers and decided on a dark brown. And I take the, the brush side of my Tombow, my dark brown Tombow marker. Uh, this is 969 for those of you who care. And I just outlined just sort of loosely outlined around even onto the lace the whole thing outlined the cutout um, any spaces in the middle now these markers are watercolor they're water based um, and so well I'll show you I'm going to get this outlined I may even speed this up I don't know here, even onto the lace. Got another cutout here. And yeah. So even onto the lace. And you actually kind of need to put a little bit more even on the lace because, you know, it's just got an extra layer there to kind of soak through. And it, it looks quite quite dark on the lace, actually. But that is okay. Now, keep that tumble marker close. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get out. I have uh, this water brush. Get a lot of water into the tip and just start um, just applying water to it and helping that ink to sort of wick out. All the papers that I used on the back here um are, are really matte like they're not treated the other this other thing has a uh, mod podge so color can kind of slide around as you'll see color really sort of slides on there can get picked up and moved around because of that sort of uh water proof almost waterproof surface um so yeah keep adding water To that and just helping that color to leach out. And down here, I really just almost let the water puddle and pool so that it uh, almost like soaks into that label as well. Let her puddle and pull and let that uh, water leach that color out. Be, be brave. Now, you can see that it's really doing a, doing a thing up there. What happens because of uh, the treatment on here is that I find I need to just continue to add uh, more color. Oh, and I kind of forgot this hole up here. I forgot this hole up here. There we go. And that will leach out into that. But then what happens is um, I need to not, I need to just dab a little bit more um, in these areas where it's treated. And then you start to see that color leach, leach into and away uh, from that. See what else we can if we can get some more color from our pen onto there. Just dab it with some more some more water. And there, when that dries, that is going to look phenomenal, you guys. It'll just look dusty and crusty and Phenomenal, and you see how that color has sort of leached into the label there. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So that is how I do the tags, how I, how I did the napkin image, but, you know, really substituted out some uh, tissue paper. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would love it. It really helps my channel. 
And um, also be sure to, to go give uh, 49 Dragonflies and uh, Louisa Heinzel some love. And there are links to their Defember Ember playlist down below. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope to see you back here again soon. And, um, yeah, whatever you do, get, get your hands dirty today, guys. Go make something. And, um, and I hope you're well. And I will see you soon. All right. This is Cynthia, Junk Journal Art Company, saying...